This is Cassian with Instacluster by NetApp. Today, I'm going to cover getting started with OpenSearch on Instacluster. If you're new to OpenSearch, I suggest you check out our other video, Learn Enough to Chat About OpenSearch, first. There's a link in the description. Today, I'll talk about signing up for a free Instacluster trial, provisioning an OpenSearch cluster using the Instacluster console, and working with your OpenSearch cluster using curl including connecting to the cluster, indexing data, and retrieving data. First is signing up for a free InstaCluster trial. There is a link to the free trial signup in the description of this video, but you can also find the link on the InstaCluster homepage. Once you click the link, you'll fill out some basic information, no payment method is required at signup. Click the Sign Up button, and after your account is created, you'll be asked to verify your email via a dialog on the InstaCluster console. Verify your email address, and you'll be able to create your first cluster. Next, I'll cover creating an OpenSearch cluster. Click the Create bu Cluster button to get started. You will be taken to the Create Cluster page. Create a cluster name. Under Applications, select OpenSearch. You can choose an infrastructure provider on this page as well. If any enterprise features are available to you, you will see them here on the lower part of the screen. Once you're ready, click Next. On the Cluster Setup page, you can configure your version of OpenSearch as well as bundle any other node types you'd like to bundle. Add any plugins you'd like to add and any enterprise add-ons, and then click Next. This leads you to the Data Center Options page. You can select an infrastructure provider, region, custom name, a number of nodes, and more here. If you use AWS, there are also some additional encryption settings. Once you've looked through these, click Next. You'll be sent to the review page where all of your options are listed out for you to review. Accept the terms and conditions if everything looks right. Then click Create Cluster. You have now created an open search cluster on InstaCluster. It will take about 10 minutes to provision. Take a break and come back, then I'll walk you through connecting to, adding data to, and searching the data of your cluster. Your first stop is the InstaCluster console in your cluster details pane. On the left side, select Firewall Rules. This pane will allow you to set a rule allowing your PC's IP address to connect to the OpenSearch cluster. If there isn't already a rule for your public IP address, Click the gray Add My IP button here at the bottom. You'll see a dialog and a success, and it's been added. Your next stop is the Connection Info pane. Use the link at the left side of the screen to get to this pane. The Connection Info pane will appear on the right side of the screen. On this screen is everything you'll need to create a connection to your OpenSearch cluster. In particular, I'm going to copy the cluster endpoint URL, and the OpenSearch username and password designated by InstaCluster. In this video, I'll use curl to check my connection, add a document to an index, and retrieve that document. If you'd like to see commands that are run, check the link in the description. There is also a link on how to install curl for various platforms. To check the connection, I'll make a curl get request to the cluster endpoint, passing in the username and password. If the connection is working, it'll return a bit of information about the cluster as shown on the screen. Next, to add a document, make a put request with a JSON document to the cluster endpoint and URI shown here. This will create a document at the index testing that can be accessed at the ID of one. The pretty print makes sure we get back a result we can read well in the terminal. As you can see, it has inserted the record. You can tell this by the fact that you can see results created in the response. Finally, I'll use a GET request to retrieve the index document. You can see I'm using the username and password that were given to me by InstaCluster. I'm using the URL. Finally, testing doc one. One was the ID that we inserted. And then again with the pretty to get back a pretty result. Let's see what happens. As you can see, uh, this worked. You can see found true um, right here on the screen. You can also see um, the index itself, everything, the description, and the timestamp. And so we got back our record. 
Thank you for joining me in creating and connecting to an open search cluster on InstaCluster. For more videos, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.